I was reading this post from Justin LeBoy, right? And he said something funny as hell. It just made me think. He said, men don't understand the importance of having a woman that genuinely likes you in life. Not the thing, not the money, but you. When she really likes you, she'll overlook a lot of shit and do a lot of shit for you. Not because she wants something, but just because she wants to. Don't fuck it up because once she loses that strong like for you as a man, you cannot get that back. Yo, that's crazy because I feel like some women be like stupidly in love. Feel what I'm saying? The fact that she'll do anything for a man just because she really likes him, it's crazy. And when I say anything, I'm talking about like, she allow that man to like be broke. She allow that man to not do shit around the house while she just working, 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 coming home, cleaning up, coming home, taking care of the kids, coming home, cooking, you feel me? And she'll let him just sit around and do nothing because she likes him so much. A lot of women, y'all part of the problem on why these men just want to be lazy and sit around. Y'all allow it. Y'all allow him to be that comfortable in his house, in your house. <laughs> you allow it. But I feel like if you put some fire to his ass, if you tell him like, look, man, we ain't going to be together if you keep living like this. We ain't going to be together if you stay jobless or you stay not trying to work towards being better. I feel like if y'all put it like that, right, it might make some of these men get up and want to actually do something with their life because how they thinking is they like, look, bro, I got my girl. I'm in her spot, <laughs> feet up, got my game here. They like, shit, what more can I ask for? She go to work. I don't really got to do much. That leads to uh, comfortability. It just make a nigga not want to do shit. Some niggas. I ain't talking about every nigga. You feel me? Every nigga not like that. Just got the big dog from QT. You feel me? But yo, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all think neglection is a sin? Now I know y'all heard about neglecting a child before, but I know good and well y'all never heard about neglecting an adult. That sound crazy. But what's even more crazy is most of y'all neglect yourself. Most people neglect their self. Now, neglection or neglecting a child is like not giving him a bottle to eat when he need it. Uh, not giving your child their education that they need. Just not doing the things that you need to do to take care of your kid. That's neglecting a child. Now, when you think about an adult or when you think about yourself, a lot of y'all don't take care of yourself. <laughs> a lot of y'all are obese. Respectfully, I'm not even trying to come at nobody. A lot of y'all are anorexic. A lot of y'all are broke. A lot of y'all don't have a place to live. A lot of y'all don't have a car. Now it's okay. Um to go through things, right? I'm not saying it's not a, I'm not saying we don't go through things. Like there was a time where I didn't have a car. There was a time I didn't have a house. It was a time that I was broke. You know, we all go through adversities. But when I speak about other people not having these things, I'm speaking on the people that neglect their self, that can get up out of that negative situation, but they choose not to because they're too lazy. 
and they don't want to do the work. Those are the people that I'm speaking about. Those are the people that are sinning every day through neglection of their self on top of all the other sins. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's a difference. So I really want y'all to just think about that. I want you to think about, I want you to think, hold up, man, I'm trying to park. I want you to take a moment and think, am I neglecting myself? Am I doing everything I need to do to be great? Or am I doing everything I need, to, or am I not doing everything I need to do and I'm just being mediocre?